Fire has always been a very important part of human life here on Earth. And um, fire has either been the best friend or the enemy. And we have experienced um, both here on the homestead. But fire is still very, very important to us because we heat all of our houses pretty much except for the bathrooms exclusively with firewood. And um, fire can also be very dangerous. Every year when we harvest our hay, um, it needs to be dry enough, otherwise the whole barn can start burning from the heat generated. So today we're gonna use fire for something else. We're gonna do a controlled um, burn of some old grass on a pasture that we weren't able to um, to put cows on last year and this is always an exciting time in spring when we can do this and all the kids love it. I already used to love this when I was a child so let's go and do this together. You guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go. Which bird are we going to burn? Okay guys, I want you to always stay close to me and you need to pay attention to what I say. You don't go in the smoke and you don't walk with your shoes where the fire is burning, okay? Okay. You stay close by me. What about if the tree... You, where does the wind come from right now? That way. That way. It's blowing this way, right. You see the smoke go that way. Yeah. But I want you to be there. Where the smoke will blow in your face, so you will breathe like it in. So we can do like here, not right here. Yeah. But what about if the little trees burn up? That's Cause... fine. We don't want them here. They just grew here because um, there were not enough cows and sheep on here. Ah. Poor little trees. The, whole the tree... rocks are not going to burn up. But maybe those fence sticks are going to burn up. Like... Yeah, it can't burn this way. It won't burn there because the cows have eaten the grass short there. And it's going up. And there's not so much grass here, so it'll just burn well. It won't be a huge fire. No. What can I do to put the fire Now, ideally, this is something that I don't want to have to do because, um, ideally, through the controlled grazing, there won't be any grass like this left. It'll all be stepped on, um, eaten worked into the ground somehow but we just do this now to um, to make it a smooth surface for the chicken tractors and the eggmobiles and all of that later so they can just um, go smoothly over here and the ashes you know they will also fertilize the field and um, the green grass you know when it's black it heats up quicker and it's a lot of fun <laughs> So for you guys that are fairly new to the channel, we this uh, farm is owned by my dad, um, and it's 60 acres, about 20 acres are open fields or pasture. My wife and I farm the land. Um, we farm also the land of two neighbor farms. It's usually a very, very wet area, swampy area, but it has been so dry last year and very little snowfall that um, it just is dried up almost all of it. So I think if the fire would go in there, it would cross this area, start burning on the field over there, which I don't want really. So I'll have to take it out. Be careful, okay? No, I need a shovel. Isn't there two shovels? I don't know. If you have another kid's shovel, you can go look for it.
I don't know if you guys can hear the kids down there, but it's not a controlled pasture fire that we're doing. This is a huge forest fire and they are fighting for their life to save the world right now from burning up. It's quite cool. I think our firefighters deserve a thumbs up. What do you think? Come on. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little vlog of us doing this and it brings back childhood memories to me. The kids had a blast and uh, now I'm really excited for the growing season, season to start. It will be part of me building some more fences here and then the cows will go on these pastures that we burned today. So thanks for watching today. Stay tuned in the channel. Subscribe if you haven't done so. See you soon. Bye bye.